So here's my uh, first attempt here at uh, getting these panel mounts mounted to the roof. I took some of the packing cardboard from the solar panels, assembled the uh, tilt mount assemblies to the panel. The pan I cut the cardboard to the exact size of the panel. Then I set it on top of the cardboard and got the footprint of where those mount pads uh, legs go. I laid it up here where, the, where they're going and then I put uh, the first one in those cardboard cutout slots with that piece laying here and did one hole on that leg and one hole on this leg. Um, I've got really good structure. The screws that came with the solar panels, the wood screws, they suck down really well without stripping them. And so the next task is to, uh, I'm not going to drill any more holes. I'd, I'd rather not trust that for every one of them, even though it's probably good. I'm going to locate this foot, uh, set a panel in place, and then put it in the tilt mode and, and locate the back ones. And then the panel itself will be mounted at the same time. The legs come with a super high bond adhesive tape. I don't know what they call that stuff. 3M product. Um, and uh, also wood screws that are, oh, I don't know, inch and a quarter, inch and a half long. They go down in the, to the truss. First it goes through the, the Luon roof, which on this particular RV, there's two layers of that. That's a whole different story. But nonetheless, I've got more wood structure there to, to bond to. So I get a stronger roof. Um, the uh, truss, I, I kind of just walked and... and put my foot in places and you can tell where the trusses are and where they're not. So I, I tried to line it up to keep the panel away from that vent for the uh, to keep it from shading the vent. So now I got to get some panels up here. I've got one. I did this all by my own self. Sitting back here on a piece of cardboard on its own legs. And uh, they're coming from down there. There's uh, two of them there. I've got another one straight down, but I'm, I'm bringing them up that ladder. And uh, they weigh about 30 pounds, 32 pounds, I think. But I'm bringing them up and setting them over on that cardboard and then going back down the ladder and coming up this side over here. So now I need to get busy and uh, start installing. So stay tuned. Okay, I've got uh, w the first panel installed. My uh, cardboard cutout, not 100% pleased with it. So I'm going to try something different on this next one. Not sure yet how I'm going to do it. I'm going to set that cardboard down over here and install this one next. So my second option was to set that cardboard down where I wanted it. Set the panel on top, line up the edge of both panels and start screws through the feet of this panel into the roof well i couldn't very well do that without just running them down by hand with a ratcheting wrench and in doing that my cardboard is now basically entrapped so i have to take the the uh, brackets loose from the panel which is only one thumb screw those black thumb screws one on each leg, so four of them. Take the panel off, lift the cardboard off, put the panel back on. So this method, although it's good for doing your layout and give you an idea, I'm going to say that that method is a fail for mounting, the permanent mount, unless you like the extra work. I don't like the extra work. I uh, had knee surgery about three weeks ago. So this getting up and down, up and down, up and down and climbing that ladder. Not a whole lot of fun, but my third and final method is going to be take this panel, move that piece of cardboard, set the panel where I want it, pull the uh, backing off the uh, uh, 3M tape on the foot 
and set it where I want it and start my screws in and run them in by hand and then I'm done with it. I don't have to mess with the cardboard. Although the cardboard came in handy for laying out and showing me what I had as a footprint, um, that worked well, but the install, it's going to go a little bit faster this way. So time to get to work. Get this last panel up there. This is how it's done. You're by yourself. I've got cardboard up here. I've got those slabs of cardboard up here to set it on so that it slides easier and doesn't scar the roof. That's how it's done. One thing, I'm a little bit uh, concerned about is that panel's pretty close to where it's going to go. And I've got plenty of clearance under that for that vent cap. So I don't think there's going to be an issue there. That's pretty much where that one's going to go. Other than i got to line it up a little bit better. So... I'll uh, get to starting that install. Okay, so I'm up on the ladder over the uh, uh, campsite against the awning here. Just to give you a shot of what I'm doing. Here's how I'm doing it. I put that blue tape down just to give me a kind of a basic lay where the foot rests normally. And then I lift it up and spin it and peel off the uh, 3M backer tape set it back down and it it really sticks there well but then i run these in um, i start them like this by hand just turning them with my fingers Just a little bit of pressure and once they uh, start pulling into that wood it pulls it right down I'm trying to keep it as straight as I can with my finger on top just a ratcheting wrench you could use a socket for this also but I find it's easier to keep my finger on top of a ratcheting wrench than it is on top of a socket or a ratchet. So once I get down to about here, I do by feel. I can tell when that thing is really starting to suck into that wood, it starts to collapse that VHB tape. So then I tighten both these down really good. And that's it. Peel this blue tape up off of there, and that leg's done. 
Now, what I'm going to do next is, uh, after I get these legs down, I'm going to come back and tilt these all these panels so that they're all tilted up and away toward both sides to expose those wires for both uh, running my cables and for sealing uh, some putting some uh, sealing compound around these some dicor around these feet. I don't trust that the uh, VHB is a, a sealant. It's more of a bonding agent, not a sealant. So that's what I'm going to do. Sorry about the uh, w waves and the light there, but I've got my uh, fluorescent light or my LED light going. So it's making those waves on the video. Okay, that's, uh, that's going to wrap up part one of this uh, solar install. I've got four panels. They're uh, 210 watt panels each, so that gives me a total of 840 watts. Um, I haven't started any of the wiring or anything. It's simply the mount. And that part is complete. I'm pleased, very pleased with the way it came out. I uh, hit good solid wood on every mount screw. So uh, I'm going to cut it off here. And the next task is probably going to be down in the uh, battery bay or in the front storage or under the, the bed. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put all the batteries and the inverter and stuff. But that's what we've got for now. So uh, I'm going to cut it off. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next several phases of this. Uh, probably going to be a part two, three, four, and who knows uh, where it's going to end. So uh, click that subscribe button and then you'll get a notification when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.